Hi, Troy Wolfmeyer here for the Metro Lutheran Ministries Financial Opportunity Center, here again to talk about your money. Now, the last couple of videos were about your values, talking about things that are important to you, things that might uh, encourage you to take action. And these then lead, if we've got values figured out, they're going to lead us to set our goals. Now, like values, goals aren't right or wrong. They're personal. They're yours. Your goals might be exactly like mine. And your goals could be completely different. It's okay. It's your values, your goals, and what you want to accomplish. Now, most financial coaches, the big names even, like Dave Ramsey and Jan Sincero, they're probably going to tell you that you probably should value having a roof over your head, and you should probably value having food in your stomach, that those two things ought to be on everybody's list. And for most of us, that's probably true, because then having those values is going to determine some goals that I set for sure, right? But that's not even necessarily true for everybody. You see, I have a client who doesn't value the roof over his head. Now, he values food. Having something in his stomach is very important. He likes to eat nice food. But he values experiences and memories. So while he could have an apartment, he qualified for housing assistance if he needed it, he doesn't choose to do that. I've tried to encourage him because that's what I thought everybody should value. But he doesn't. And he's perfectly happy to go out and have his food and make his memories and then sleep at a friend's house or in a park or under an overpass or in a shelter. And that's okay for him. It's what he chooses to do. Now, your goals for your finances should flow from those values. So if you have enough a value of having a roof over your head in a house, then one of your goals is to make enough money to pay for that house. If what you value is looking all fly and gorgeous in the latest fashions, then you're going to have a goal of looking all fly and gorgeous in the latest fashions for your money. Now, I personally hate spending money on clothes. I don't like anything that draws attention to me. I don't like anything that's the latest trend. Billy Porter, he would hate me. Okay, it's just true. But it's not on my value list. So as a result, it's not on any of my goals. I don't have a goal of getting the latest pair of Jordans or something of that nature. And that's okay because it's my list. Now, I'm assuming that you've already begun to take some time and think about what you value. Hopefully, you've written down what you value. Well, now you need to sit down and start coming up with some of your goals. What is it that you want? What would you like that money to do for you that fits within your value system? Now, does this sound confusing? And it does to a lot of people. If you want some help, call us at the Financial Opportunity Center, 285-3131 here in Kansas City. We'll be glad to help you through it. Remember, our services are free. The results that you get are yours, and we're on your side. And remember, feed the pig.